Six, with the death toll climbing rapidly, could an ancient remedy from Southeast Asia be the answer to getting people off opioids and saving lives? Those who are using it swear by it, but the experts are raising caution flags. John Shumway has the story. Some call it Kratom, some call it Kratom. A Kratom is actually a tree, a plant that, that comes from Southeast Asia, and primarily uh, Thailand and areas around there. Dr. Michael Zamedis of the Pitt School of Pharmacy says for centuries, the natives in Asia have used it for pain relief. Either chewing a leaf or making a tea out of the dried leaf. It contains something called mitradimine. And mitradimine in the brain binds to opioid receptors. Acting like an opioid, and some say it's helped them get off of opioids and heroin. It kind of substitutes, it produces a degree of uh, less dependence and less symptoms of withdrawal. Which is why so many products touting Kratom are popping up on the internet. But here comes a big red flag. Products that are on the market now, um, you don't know what you're getting. Because it's a plant that can't be patented, the drug companies have stayed away from researching Kratom. And the limited private studies are far from being able to recommend dosages or even explain the risk. Gateway Rehab's Dr. Neil Capretto told me by text today, while Kratom can definitely help reduce withdrawal symptoms, if you stay on it too long and keep increasing doses, which many people do, you can become at least physically dependent and even addicted to it. Dr. Capretto says he's treated several people who became addicted to Kratom. The DEA has it on their watch list. Six or seven states have already outlawed its sale. Right now, it's listed as a natural food product, so it doesn't fall under the government scrutiny that drugs do. You don't know what you're getting and what else might be in the product. So buyer beware and consult your doctor. John Shumway, KDKA TV News.